why should a cell commit suicide? When you know the function of apoptosis, you will have a better understanding. Now let's talk about the function of apoptosis. The first function is apoptosis is essential for the proper functioning of mature organs. Let's take a skin for example. You know carotenoids of the skin undergo apoptosis and fall off continually. As the basal cells proliferate and migrate to the surface and form a new protective outer layer of the skin, continuously update. In the adult human body, several hundred thousands of cells are produced every second by mitosis, and a similar number of cells die by apoptosis for the maintenance of homeostasis and for specific tasks of mature organs. And second, the apoptosis is essential for normal development, such as morphogenesis or neuronal development. During the formation of hand or feet, interdigital tissue of developing human embryos must be removed by apoptosis. As a result, fingers or toes are free. Otherwise, web the fingers will form. Apoptosis plays an important role in the formation of reproductive ducts. As we discussed in embryology, reproductive ducts all derived from two sets of ducts, Mullerian duct and Wolfian duct. If the embryo is female, Mullerian duct develops fully and forms the female reproductive duct, including fallopian duct and uterus. And Wolfian duct will be deleted by apoptosis. If the embryo is male, Mullerian duct deleted by apoptosis, and the Wolfian duct develops fully and forms the male reproductive duct, including epididymis, afferent duct, and ejaculatory duct. And neuronal cell death by apoptosis is also fundamental for central nervous system development, especially the formation of one-to-one -one synapse. Please look at this diagram. Originally, several neurons form synapses with target neuron, but this kind of many-to-one synapse is not good for information transfer. Subsequently, redundant neurons are deleted by apoptosis. It's absolutely necessary for accurate one-to-one -one information transfer, so apoptosis is essential for normal embryonic development. As the third function is, apoptosis is needed to destroy cells that threaten homeostasis. Then, which kind of cells can threaten the homeostasis? And the cells infected with viruses and the cells that have been damaged and can't be repaired appropriately and cancer cells and cells of immune system including auto-reactive T-cells with the potential to attack the self, and immune cells that they are no longer needed as the termination of an immune response. If not, these auto-reactive T-cells will cause autoimmune disease. And then, how does our body remove these cells that threaten homeostasis by apoptosis? Now, let's take cells infected with virus, for example, to talk about it. And here shows one virally infected cell. It expresses one death receptor, FAS. And the cytolytic lymphocyte expresses FAS ligand on the surface. FAS ligand binds to death receptor FAS. The combination triggers the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis. Okay, the binding of a fast ligand causes the conformational change of intercellular parts of the death receptor, exposes the death domain. Through death domain, adapter protein FADD binds to death receptor. By death effect domain of FADD, initiator procaspase 8 binds to FADD and forming a death inducing signaling complex. Such a clustering of initiated caspase 8 can be activated automatically. Active caspase 8 cleave caspase 3 that triggers the apoptosis, and the virally infected cells is removed by apoptosis. From above mentioned, we know 
Apoptosis is definitely essential for normal development and the maintenance of the homeostasis. But if the apoptosis is out of control, what will happen? Please think about it.